It makes everything better. Want to take a walk around Suo with me? Okay. I was just looking to blow off some steam. Great. Let's go then. Uh, I have it on English, so I don't have to read. Um. Plus, I watched the whole uh, fairy tale and uh, saw the online on English so. because of a voice actor. No, it's not bad at all, but I bet the uh, Japanese is better. I mean, I wouldn't say we've reached peace yet, but it's still yeah. relaxing to walk around this city. Yeah. I really like Suo. It calms me down when I'm stressed. Oh my god, it's a remix of this song. I hope we can truly attain peace one day. In our next story, new information has been uncovered regarding the inhumane experiments conducted at the OSF hospital. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> that news. OSF hospital chairman Yanagi Ichijo had denied any involvement. But among the leaked data provided by a whistleblower included documents signed by Mr. Ichijo himself. It's unlikely that the ten members implicated in these accusations, including Mr. Ichijo, will be able to avoid any fallout. It seems like the researcher we saved came through. Yeah, the Ichijo family name could be ruined now, but that's better than thriving through evil deeds. Yeah. How is your family doing? Have your parents experienced any blowback? No. I contacted them, but they really didn't know anything about it. They were actually worried for me that the OSF might try something. I'm glad they're okay. Yeah. I'm so relieved, because for a second I was worried they could be involved. Maybe I'll go visit them soon. Mm hmm. And they died. What sound? It sounded like a crash. Let's go check it out. Over there! An accident! How the fuck did you do this? That's unusual. Excuse me. Do you know what happened here? It seems like the car's auto drive program malfunctioned. Uh. The rescue team hasn't shown up yet. Are you with the OSF? I guess that means you can't really do anything. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, there might God be something damn it, we can Tesla. do. <laughs> Help! My son is in one of the cars. One of the cars, I honestly want. Still trapped inside. There's smoke coming from the engine. The kid could be in danger unless we get him out. We don't have time to wait for the rescue team. Let's do what we can. Help! Just hold on a little longer for us. We're going to get you out of there soon. <sighs> it's locked. Can you remove the door with your psychokinesis? I could, but I might accidentally hurt the kid if I try to force it open. If only there was a way we could open it more gently. Okay, I'll try then. What are you going to do? I'm going to use my pyrokinesis to see if I can melt one of the parts inside of the door. That should make it come off easier. Burn the car. Okay. Do it. It's just a child. Am I going to die? Yes, you are. Don't worry. We're going to save you. Trust me. Can you back away from the door for me? Okay. <sighs> They're finally going You're to right. die. Got it. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Good job. Oh, I see why. waiting for you. Thank you so much. I really can't Holy thank shit. you enough. <laughs> Please, you don't need to thank us. I'm glad your son is safe. Did not expect that. No, me neither. Um, thank you for saving me. Hey, I saw what happened. The OSF sure is amazing. Let's hear it for the Scarlet Guardians. What? When did this crowd gather? Everyone, please step back. It's still dangerous. The rescue team just arrived. I think we can leave the rest to them. As much as I want to see this through to the end, we should leave before the crow show up and get in the way. 
Whew. You were really cool. You acted so decisively, even when that was our first time dealing with an accident. What? No, I didn't. I was just desperately trying to save that boy. Well, I still think that's cool. Thanks. I think I figured out what I want to do. You finally got your answer? Yeah. I had an idea, but today really solidified it. I want to protect what I love, though I don't mean someone specific. I love this city and the people who live here, and I want to protect all of them. I don't want any of them to suffer. <laughs> I agree. I'm done with all this sadness that keeps happening. That's why I want to change the OSF first, <laughs> so that what my uncle did will never happen again. I mean, they call us the Scarlet Guardians. We need to live up to our name. Guardians? Just like you were back there. T don't tease. But you might be right. Protecting people doesn't just mean fighting. She's good. I mean, even if we get rid of all the others in the world someday, accidents like that will Naomi still happen. Naomi is going to haunt Hanavi from the grave. Get rid of <laughs> she is. <laughs> I never thought that far ahead before, but you're right. In other words, Ooh. our fighting ends when we defeat all our enemies. But protecting people is a job that will never end. Wow. I'm so impressed that you'd think so far ahead. I'm proud to be your childhood friend. I mean, it might be a big endeavor, but I plan to start little by little. Besides, I only started thinking about these kinds of things because of you. I didn't have any ideals up until now. Seeing you run ahead, I wanted to catch up and run beside you. Then I finally found the path I was looking for. <laughs> what? I never thought for mm -hmm. a second I was running ahead of you. Since I came in as a volunteer soldier, I've always been frantically trying to catch up to you. <laughs> then I guess we both helped each other grow. Let's go with that. Both of us will keep moving forward. Yes. This is the all-important first step, after all. Yuito? Huh? What is it? I love you. There's something I want to tell you when I feel like I finally caught up to you. Oh? What's that? It's a secret until the time comes. I just secret? love how Kasane wants to help really Kanabi get closer with Yuito in her okay. side of the story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait up! Oh, she's already gone. That's so Hanabi. And that was her rank six. And she will. You eat of the clueless idiot. <laughs> and she will never return. Thanks, Yuito. For what? I didn't do anything. When I see you working so hard, it makes me want to work hard too. I think I've matured a little, but it's not enough yet. I'm not just going to follow after you. I'm going to get better than you and pull you up to my level. So you better be ready. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Bucky. I have your back. Oh, that. I promise I'll get stronger so I can protect you. That confused me. Let's get stronger together. Uh. But just skip the cutscenes you don't care about like she does. Oh yeah, that's true. That I can do that. I just really dislike him. And it's like very boring to listen to one that's like, Oh, I don't give a shit about you. Same. Yeah. Do you have a second, Yuito? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Okay. Where are we going? A cemetery near Sumeragi Tomb. I'm going to go pay respects to my friend Masaki. There wasn't a body we could bury, but his brother added his name to the family grave. No. So he has a proper grave. Yeah, let's go.
Are you sure you don't need more time? No, this was enough. He already knew everything I wanted to tell him. I was thinking about what went down at Mizuhagawa. There were so many people discarded that way. Yeah. We only found one truck's worth, but I'm sure there were many more before it. They say that many retired soldiers die quickly or go missing. I thought it was just the toll of serving in the OSF. But it could be all the government's doing, trying to secure the brains they need. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did that. It's chilling to think about. They use what's useful and discard what isn't. People are just tools to this nation. But we aren't tools. We have a chance <laughs> for another life when we can't fight anymore. Yeah, it's probably there. Forgive them for taking away that I'm possibility and discarding them like trash. I feel the same. I'm all game on. Treated my best friend. You mean Nagi? Yeah. He and Masaki both had so much life ahead of them. We need to end these types of things from happening in our lifetime. Jim is dad. That my role in the OSF was ended. Yeah. But it looks like there's this giant task still left. I want to right this nation's wrongs and protect the future as someone who is still remaining. You're not planning on doing that all by yourself, are you? I'd like to help too. Oh. Thanks. I appreciate Kiyoku it. Kyoko's mom. Don't mention it. Oh yeah. Well, shall we head back to the hideout? Wait. There's somewhere I want to stop by. Okay. Where are we going? I wanted to go to this restaurant, but I couldn't bring myself to go in alone. I'd be grateful if you came with me. Surprise original gyoza Suzaku. That's an impressive sounding place. And together we are one big family. Food since our last and excursion. <laughs> I'm I started looking up trendy <laughs> new restaurants on food websites when I have time. So, you have a new hobby. Is it nearby? Yeah. I realized when I looked at the website that Masaki and I used to go there together all the time. The restaurant's name and atmosphere completely changed after the previous owner died, so I hadn't visited since. But there's no point in only looking at the past. I have to try the new gyoza for myself. Their popular dishes are the Ogre Hell Gyoza and Final Dragon Gyoza? Hard to imagine those are names for food. It doesn't matter what their names are, what matters is how they taste. It's good to be adventurous. <laughs> You're right. Although, that's not something you would have said just a short while ago. Perhaps. I was too stubborn. I need to be less afraid of trying new things. I'll honor Masaki's memory by enjoying what life I have left. You look at peace. I think you've gotten younger. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But a weight has been taken off my shoulders. It's been a while since I felt this way. All right. Let's try these surprise gyoza then. Eat as much as you like. It's my treat. Maybe we can take some back to the hideout for everyone. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I just hope they taste as strange as their names. No kidding. But I didn't rank up to them. Yeah, my you fuck, where are you? Uh, well, no more. Man, uh, what? Oh, damn. You fuck. Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I have to tell you. What's the matter? Let's go to Misubi's. I'll tell you everything there. About things I've been hiding from you. What was it that you were hiding from me? I couldn't tell you before, because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago, Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. 
I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while, but you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love, never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... the way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm... you're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. <sighs> However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Yuito. I pushed a lot on you without considering your feelings. Huh? What are you talking about? You know, like charms and fortune telling. I just wanted to become friends with you so badly that I went a little overboard. From now on, <laughs> I'm going to do my best to be a motherly and trustworthy sisterly figure to you. I think of you as family, Yuito. I hope that doesn't bother you. Of course not. It makes me happy. I'm glad you feel that way. Oh, Yuito, perfect timing. Could you come and help me in the kitchen? Okay, what's the matter? <sighs> what is this? I can't really see with the sensor in place. What in the world is on that plate? Uh... I thought I'd reward everyone with some homemade cooking for all the hard work they've been putting in. Uh... What? This is food? It has a really intense smell. That must be from all the spices. I'm actually not very good at cooking. This is beyond not very good. I wanted to get your advice because I know you're a really good cook. I want to make everyone happy. I see. Well, if that's the case, I'd love to help you. I'm not sure what exactly I can do about this, though. You should see her clean. Thank you. You're a <laughs> lifesaver. Oh, no. Okay, I'll start with a vegetable stir fry. Can you watch me? Done. Vegetables are so important for a balanced diet. Hmm. Why is this being censored again? I don't think this has much nutritional value. Let's start with something more simple, like fried eggs. Done. That was really simple and easy. Oh, there's the censor again. That's so strange. How can you do this just from frying an egg? I almost feel like giving up. Now, what dish is coming next? Ow! Are you all right? I'm sorry. Hold on. It'll stop hurting if I take a short break. Are you sick or something? It's something chronic. I've had someone else's memories implanted inside my brain as part of my mission. The memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, Togetsu's founder. They sometimes give me headaches. 
one time her memories temporarily became stronger, and I almost forgot who I was. That sounds really dangerous. Yes, I may have fought her off once, but I never know when her memories will surface again. I thought I'd cook to distract myself, but it didn't work. I wonder if this will plague me for the rest of my life. If this doctor's memories are a part of you, then maybe. Y yes you're right. I don't mean that in a bad way. I've been worried lately, too. You have? Yeah. There's so much I don't know that could happen with my brain or with the world. But I don't let these situations stop me. I keep moving forward. That led me to become friends with all of you. The future always comes with a sense of uncertainty. But it's not necessarily bad. I'm sure you're right. I never felt uncertain or worried when I was in Togetsu. In exchange, I had to bury all my feelings. Right now, I'm scared about the future. But I get to live my life the way I want. Yeah, you're so animated now. Thank you. I'm scared of the doctor's memories because I care so much about who I am now. Okay, my headache is gone. Let's get back to cooking. All right. Let me try to think of a dish you can actually make. I know. How about a rice ball? Oh, that's very homey. What should I wash the rice with? I'll make the rice. You just shake it. Here we Okay, that was some hard work, but we managed to do it. I think. They didn't quite end up in the shape you showed me, but I'm pretty proud of them. Let's go hand them out to everyone. I see you cooked. I just remembered about something I have to do. Would it be okay if I left for a while? Is this a rice ball? I'm sensing something sinister. I'm not getting near that thing. Keep it away from me. They're so scared. And I understand where they're coming from, though. Don't worry, they're edible. See? Oh. <laughs> You're right. They don't look great, but they taste all right. I guess if you say they're okay. Oh, you're right. It's good. <sighs> we managed to get everyone to eat them. They had pretty nice things to say as well. This is amazing. It's the first time I've ever been complimented on my cooking. Really? I guess that's not surprising. I didn't know you'd be so happy. I'm most happy about learning and applying something new there on my go. own. Something that wasn't from Dr. Pope's memories. I see. I guess making rice balls wasn't something the doctor bothered to learn. If I continue to challenge myself like this every day, and bring joy to people, building my own memories, maybe one day the doctor's thoughts will become a thing of the past. I'm sure you're right. I wouldn't feel this hopeful if it wasn't for you. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. Knowing that you watch over me gives me the motivation I need to do my best every day. I can't believe that little child is standing here in front of me right now, teaching me so much. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you don't need to compare me to the past. No, you're not a child anymore. I have to grow too. To not fear the uncertainty of the future and to move forward. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Really? The next time, I'll make rice balls without your help, and you can taste them. What? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Yuito, are you hungry? Does it hurt anywhere? Would you like a massage? I'm fine. Oh no, I overdid it again. But you give off this vibe that makes me just want to protect you. Smite hydrate now. Or die. I just did you fuck. I feel so much closer to you lately. It feels very warm. It's a little embarrassing, but I feel better talking with you too. Then you have chosen death. <laughs> Yuito, I have a favor to ask. Will you climb Hieno Mountain with me? 
sure, but why? Was there another warning there or something? No, I just want to climb the mountain. The truth is, I'm still worried about my power. Lifting weights is not enough to shake my insecurity. I want to put myself in an extreme situation to clear my thoughts. And you thought of Hiano Mountain. But you had a pretty tough time climbing it before. It was certainly difficult climbing the mountain with this body. But that's why I want to do it. I want to climb it with my own strength and see just how strong I've become. So I don't want you to help unless it's an emergency or another appears. You want to test your limits? Okay, but don't do anything crazy. Maybe we should take a break. I can still go on. I'm sorry for causing you some problems of late. Don't worry about it. It's good to talk to someone. I understand in theory that I shouldn't let losing my power bother me. But being a dud is something that has occupied my mind for a very long time. A dud's quality of life is hardly considered in current New Himuka society. It's the same as if they don't exist. If I lose my power, that's what will happen to me. And that scares me. I guess not being able to see the net or visions is the same as being ignored by the world. But since they're outside of society, doesn't that mean they can change it from the outside? That's just idealism. Society does not work that way. That may be true, but that doesn't mean you should just give up. You're still young enough to have hopes like that. I've been alive in this world for decades. I'm painfully aware of what can and cannot be done. I am not the child that I appear to be. I know you're not a child, so don't give up so easily. If you don't face the problem like an adult, nothing will change. But... but I... Uh... Watch out! Th thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was scary. I'm glad you didn't slip. Oh, I guess you could have teleported. It happened so fast. If I had fallen, that may have been it. You ended up saving me, even though I said I was here to test my own strength. Does it matter? I mean, I only helped you then. You climbed all this way by yourself. It's okay to get help when you really need it. I don't think being strong is doing everything by yourself without anyone's help. <laughs> I see. Oh, sorry. That was a little high-handed. No, you're right. You made me think of my brother. Former Major General Karin? He is adored by everyone, but he trusts no one and takes all the burdens on himself. I've always followed in my brother's footsteps. But I don't need to follow his path anymore. I don't want to be like Karin. In fact, I shouldn't be. Oh. Yuito, I apologize for getting emotional. No, I was mouthing off too. Let's call it even. Alright. Now, let's get to the top. If we don't hurry, the sun will set before we get down. We're here. Oh, we made it. You did it. Yes, it was the result of my daily exercise. And your help. I was just along for the ride. Like I said, you got here on your own. Thank you. New Himuka looks so small from here. From this far away, the people look like ants. It's strange. Small people, big people, psionics, duds. They are all just specks when seen from far away. Nations and societies are just gatherings of those specks. If that's the case, perhaps something can be done. It looks like he has an idea. I guess the mountain climbing helped. All right. Thanks to our climb, 
I understand what issue I must focus on. That's great. So you're not worried anymore? No. First, I must get bigger. You don't mean taller, do you? <laughs> I mean mentally. You can't change the world alone. It requires small efforts by many people. So I want to have the capacity to accept everyone's ideas without losing myself. If I can depend on people, and be depended on, anything is possible. I see. You look <laughs> satisfied. That's true. Yes, but this is only the beginning. I still have far to go. I'm impressed. He seems bigger already. Okay, I have to get to work too. Oh, how spirited. We should train together then. I will make a program right away. What? Oh man, can't we just take it easy today? I always looked up to my brother's strength. But lately I believe that your kind of strength is what I should have What? I don't think I'm very strong though. I don't mean your power or fighting prowess. Perhaps I should say strength of mind. You don't compromise. I think I could change if I had your unbending. I feel like I'm another step closer to knowing you. Well, I'm taking a step closer too, so it's like we both did. When I look at you lately, I realize that Naomi had a good eye for people. I was the one biased against you. What did she say about me? Oh, that's a secret between sisters. She really trusted you, though. Of course, I do now as well. I feel something special with you, though it's hard to put into words. Yeah, me too. I feel like we have a real connection. I feel like I need to talk to Kasane more. Good timing. Will you go to Kikuchiba with me? Yeah, sure. Why Kikuchiba? I thought we could go somewhere to talk like when we went to Mizuhagawa. We won't need lunch. I just want to talk. Oh, got it. No lunch, huh? I guess that was too much last time. It's funny to think that Kasane is Yuido and Kaido's older sister. Yeah. <laughs>